What's up everyone, back for another beer review, and today I'll be reviewing a beer from the Devil's Trumpet Brewing Company, and they're out of Merrillville, Indiana, and this is their Astronaut Dreams, the Pina Colada variant. So, they are calling this one a soda pop fruited India Pale Ale, which is basically just an IPA that is brewed with pineapple, orange, banana, coconut, and lactose. It comes in at 6% alcohol by volume, 40 IBUs at the time of review. I don't know exactly how old this can is because it does not have a canned on date, but this beer was sent to me by a very good friend of me and a viewer of the channel, Todd. So thank you very much, Todd. In the description box, I'll post a link to the beer mail unboxing video I did that contains all the goodies that Todd sent my way, and he actually sent me two beers from this brewery, but neither of them have a uh, canned on date, so I have no idea how old they are. All I know is that uh, Todd, at the time of this review, sent uh, the beer mail about two months ago, so this beer is at least two months old, and I'd probably guess maybe three months old, probably no older than that. Uh, Todd usually picks up his stuff quite fresh. So um, a mutual friend of ours, Jeff, aka No Jinx, he's a viewer of the channel, a lot of you guys know him, uh, he checked this in on tap uh, months ago, a couple months ago, like kind of right around when Todd sent me this beer mail, maybe a little, little bit before, like a week before. And he was drinking this one and he gave it like a four out of five. He said, this is delicious. And I told both of them that I'm super, super jealous. And Todd's like, yeah, I think, I think you'd like, I think you'd like that one. And I'm like, yeah, no, I probably wouldn't. Of course, Todd being the stand up, generous individual that he is, he sent me one. So I have never heard of this brewery before I saw Jeff check in this beer. And now I get a chance to try two of their beers out. Now, this sounds right in my wheelhouse. I mean, it's an IPA with all those uh, fruits and adjuncts and stuff in them. Yeah. Now, I've already cracked this one open because with these heavily fruited beers, sometimes they gush and explode. This one did not, but I did notice that this was a bit of an underfill, like they gave me maybe an ounce less than typical. So kind of weird. Um, I haven't really seen that reviewing 12 ounce cans, but here we are. Anyway, let's give it a pour. I did roll the can off camera before cracking it. I'm gonna fill, so just to show you that I have not drank any of this. I have not taken a sip. I have not did anything. That's how much of the 12 ounce can was in there right there usually with a 12 ounce can you'll pr pretty much get this you know up to maybe the the rim here i want to say these uh, tikus takus are like 14 ounces so it should be a couple more ounces here and there isn't i think they i think they uh yeah i think they maybe filled it a bit of an underfill maybe like 11 ounces anyway it doesn't matter pours out like a hazy uh deep orange color uh murky turbid had about a finger of this bright white head that has dissipated to a thin film but yeah it it looks like a hazy let's get a nose Getting the pineapple, definitely getting the orange. It has like a zesty orange, like not a sweet orange, but more of like a like an orange zest or pith. And even with the age on it, there's other stuff going on, like peach and apricot, mango, ruby red grapefruit. The pineapple, not really hitting, neither is the coconut. Like, so you're, you're talking about a beer that says Astronaut Dreams Pina Colada. I'm really not getting the pineapple. I'm really not getting the coconut. I do like, they have the cat and the astronaut and the cat looking up the astro astronaut. Cool uh, little label. Um, but yeah, uh, yeah, it doesn't, it smells sweet. It smells like there's a little bittering here. Uh, there's a little bit like of a floral kind of aspect to the beer. Shout out to the train. Um, I've you know, done quite a few reviews over the past couple weeks here, getting back in the swing of things. Uh, a lot of these reviews you'll see in August, and I'm doing a lot of these mid to late, well, throughout the course of July. Uh, and let me just say, I really haven't had a train go by in any of them until right now. But yeah, this doesn't smell bad or anything. It's just, you say soda pop fruited IPA, and you're talking about, you know, pineapple and coconut, and I'm really just getting the orange and, um, what else is, did I say was in there? Orange, did I say, I'm not, yeah, I'm not really getting pineapple, really. And then fucking, you know, I'm so terrible at this. Sometimes these beers need to open up a little bit in the glass. Yeah, now I'm getting pina colada. I'm getting slight pineapple, more coconut, but I'm definitely getting the orange, but I'm getting stone fruits and like zesty kind of orange. Um, not like overly sweet. Definitely no banana. It says banana. I'm thinking maybe the banana more for like the body. Yeah, I don't know. Let's taste it because my fucking mind is in a weird place because I didn't smell pina colada. Now I smell pina colada. Cheers, everybody. Thanks again, Tom. It's fucking dynamite. Talk about doing a 180 in the glass. Holy shit, is that dynamite. It's not an IPA. Fuck no, is it not an, it's not an IPA. That's a fucking pina colada. You motherfucker. This fucking thing's trying to play tricks on me. I don't know. I have no idea what just happened 
at all. Like, I'm clueless typically. I'm more clueless than I've ever been right now when it comes to this beer. Let's talk about the body mouthfeel, maybe the only thing that I have a grasp on. It's like lower side of medium, medium body for 6%. Um, it is 6%, right? I didn't, I, they, they don't list it, but on untapped when I checked, it said 6% 40 IBU, so we'll just go with that. But um, yeah, the body's like lower side of medium, almost approaching medium. For a 6% beer, that's fine. The mouthfeel, it's under carb to a certain extent. There's carbonation there, but it's under carb. It's soft, it's smooth, it's creamy. I think the lactose and the banana probably are really helping out. Same thing with like the coconut and the pineapple, all those fruits. I really love the mouthfeel. Body's fine. Um, the taste, it's a fucking pina colada. Like it is a pina colada. There's really not, nothing more to say. I'm not getting the orange, not getting the banana. I'm pretty much just getting pineapple, coconut, and there's like a little bit, bit of vanilla from like the lactose and, and it's sweet. This is, there's almost no bittering on the palate. It finishes sweeter, but it's not like a sickly sweet, like cloying type of sweetness. It's just kind of what you expect out of a pina colada. This is, this is straight up. Like if I handed this to someone who was not a beer drinker, but like pina coladas, I don't see how they would not enjoy this. It's a 6% pina colada in beer form and it's fucking tasty. There's not much more to say about it. Um, yeah, I can't, I can't taste the alcohol. I just, I wish they would have gave me an extra ounce. Really? Yeah, I'm rating it. Um, I don't rate the style, but I will say this. You're calling this a soda, soda pop fruited India Pale Ale. It's probably my fault. I'm drinking this probably around three months old. There's no more IPA characters to this one, but I don't fucking care because Pina Colada is pretty fa fantastic. Um, yeah, I if what I'm drinking right now, the can, what the can says, I'd give it like give it like a 3.5, 3.75, just because the IPA is not there. This is just a Pina Colada, but I rate to typically my enjoyment, and my enjoyment of this is uh, pretty high. So I'm gonna give Astronaut Dreams the Pina Colada variant from the Devil's Trumpet Brewing Company. It's a low 4.5 out of 5 and go 4.45. Why? Because I just did. I don't know. I fucking had 4.45 in my mind and here we are. Uh, it's a fantastic, this is, this is, this is fantastic. This pina colada, pina colada, pina colada, pina colada. How many more times I say pina colada? Quite a few, but I'll stop. But that's what this beer is and I'm enjoying it. So uh, if you go into this one thinking it's an IPA, probably not. Then again, if you're drinking it fresh, maybe, but Regardless, they definitely nailed the pina colada vibe. I, like I said, I don't get the banana. I don't get the orange uh, on the taste. And um, that's pretty much it. Like those two are missing, but the others are there. Uh, price and availability, I have no idea. So let me know what you paid for this, Todd, and what the availability is. It's probably in, in Indiana uh, price point. If these are sold in six packs, I'd have no problem paying $18 to $20 for that. If they're sold in four packs, probably around $16. I think I pay basically three to four dollars a can for that all day, every day. Even at six percent, it's just fucking delicious. So if you've had this one before, or you've heard of the Devil's Trump Brewing Company, or you've had this specific beer, let me know what you think about it. 180 from the taste to the nose. That happens sometimes, but this happened in a crazy way because I'd let it open up a little bit. And I'm like, oh, I'm starting to get pina colada, and then I taste it. I'm like, it's fucking full on pina colada. My brain is mush, but I cannot wait. The other one I have from them is their Smoothie Dreams, the strawberry banana variant. Yeah, if it tastes like a strawberry banana smoothie, then fuck it, I'm in. If it doesn't, whatever. At least this one was delicious. So thanks again to Todd. Thanks to everybody stopping by for another beer review. To the next one, cheers.